for joining us in the six o'clock hour as we take a look at the setting sun from Grand Forks at our home of economy location there. Beautiful once again, blue skies a lot breezy, but once again, temperatures almost or even over 20 degrees above average for this time of the year for many still near 80 at Moorheads Airport and at Hector. Our wind not quite as gusty as you see from the south southeast at 13 miles per hour. Elsewhere, it's coolest in Wadena, Bemidji, low 70s there and Lakes Country enjoying some mid 70s till you get up into northwest Minnesota. Look at this. The 80 degree heat is on from Hallock all the way through Roseau County where it is in the lower 80s. Grand Forks also in that same boat. Temperatures have warmed or staying warm in parts of eastern North Dakota as well. All near 80 degrees. Crystal clear skies. Take a look at the big picture nationally. We have a low pressure system swirling counterclockwise down in the southeast United States with a few severe thunderstorm warnings there. The showers extend up to the nation's capital. Southwestern portion of the country also seeing some strong thunderstorms, but this has Hutch's attention. Woohoo! See the blue up there? That there in the British Columbia area moving off into uh, Edmonton, Alberta. That's some snowflakes. Nothing like that tonight, but I do have some news here in a bit. First and foremost, tonight breezy. Temperatures uh, slip into the 60s as we head to bed, and that's where we stay. Notice we start our day at temperatures near 60 degrees with an average high of 63 degrees in Fargo. We start out at almost that reading. So the wind from the south continues to blow and in the afternoon it'll pick up to around 25 to 35 miles per hour. Once again, a few gusts higher than that possible. Almost a carbon copy performance out of our atmosphere tomorrow. Temperatures almost identical to what you saw today. So in Fargo, that means near 60 to start. That's a lot warmer than we were this morning. But after that, we'll see temperatures with those gusty south winds over 20 miles per hour reach 82 degrees tomorrow with temperatures in the evening hours in the 70s falling into the 60s late, just like tonight. Elsewhere, a uh, chance at 80s from the Red River and points west. Elsewhere, mid 70s and parts of central Minnesota. Speaking of which, Ashley captured this in Becker County. Beautiful fall colors there and again, glassy waters under some gray skies. Thanks for taking the time to upload your fall colors. All of them have been so magnificent. Now a lot to talk about here Thursday, windy and 80 still near 80 on Friday, but here comes a cold front that will bring a chance of showers, a few rumbles of thunder Friday night, Saturday, a great chance of meaningful rain, a few tents for many areas into Sunday when we see temperatures fall to average for this time of the year, 63 degrees breezy. Now by the middle of next week, big time changes are in the offing. Here's what the American model shows. This starts out at Friday with our chance of rain we just talked about that carries us through the weekend. Big storm, a lot of rain potential and wind. North winds bring cooler air. Then as we get into the middle of next week after a little bit of a break, whoop, not for long. We're on the rainy and warm side of this system, but look at our neighbors out to the west. Elevated terrain in Montana could see some flaky follies. And I don't know if you like that or not, but um, I don't even like you saying it. <laughs> That's just me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All I'll right. keep that in mind. Okay, thanks. <laughs>